What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again, back with the bang of the day, guys, on a very special vid. And this is an unboxing, unveiling, or first thoughts and opinions on my beautiful MK18. Now guys, we have here today my MK18. And in some shape or form, it is a Daniel Defense MK18. And I might even use that a little bit in the title, but it's a little bit more than that. It's a kind of a Frankenstein-ish build. But let me explain all the parts and components on here and tell you what it actually is. Now, I wanted a MK18 because I like 5.56 five, out of a short barrel. And I've owned, of course, the Jackal in 10.5. I own the Spear in 7.62 in 11.5, but also in 5.56 five, in 11.5. Five, you know, 11.5, I've yet to go lower than that. Well, actually, maybe, my bad, I disregard that. I do have also the Galil, which is a 8.3 inch barrel. But we have here today the MK18, which is a 10.3 inch barrel. And the MK18 has been used in the Army for quite some time. There's been different versions, the MK18 Mod Zero. This is more so in line with the Mod One, with the Yo-Yo Tech, the Daniel Defense Rail, as far and as well as barrel, and a lot of different other components. Now, I had went out and got a couple of Paul Metal State Armory lowers and had a few of them SBR'd a while back, this being one of them. And I had this one, you know, SBR, and I wanted to get a Daniel Defense gun really bad. Stay tuned, you'll be seeing some more actual full-on Daniel Defenses in the future. Uh, with that being said though, I wanted this to find an upper. There were our, you know, BCM uppers that had the MK18 layout for I think 10.5 inch barrel and all that as well with the rail. But I was able to find and source out a stripped MK18 upper from someone on Reddit. Now, this is what I ended up getting, and I got this for $600, this whole entire upper. Now, it's a little odd, because the individual who had it, he has the Daniel Defense rail, the barrel on the inside of here, and let's just break it down from tip to butt. Let's just break it down from tip to butt. The barrel here, of course, is a Daniel Defense 10.3 inch barrel. We had a Streamlight. This is the XL ProTac. The XL, the big version. We also have the Daniel Defense front sight on the front of that there, light with the touchpad, of course. We have the rail is also all together with the actual barrel, which is, of course, the quad rail from Daniel Defense. We have some of these little, you know, uh, forgot the name of these, the paddings, the Picatinny covers. Salutes to uh, Classic Firearms. Salutes to Mag Dunk Clint, man. I got my inspiration of this whole entire build from him, so I'm not gonna take that away from him whatsoever. Instead of going with a Tango Stubby, I went with a BNT Stubby grip. I like this one a lot, so it's real nice. Quick release on there as well. You can flip it out and take it right off very, very easily. So Daniel Defense Barrel, Daniel Defense Rail. The upper is where things get a little odd and weird. The upper is a BCM upper receiver, and I do not know why the individual took apart and removed it. He did not have this one. I can go and buy a receiver from somewhere online, but Daniel Defense upper receivers is just a piece of aluminum to me, in my opinion, and BCM makes good stuff as well, so I'm going to leave it as is. And changing out all this, like the screws and all that, is it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, so I'll rather just keep the BCM on for now. But I have thought about going with a Daniel Defense upper receiver unit and swapping it out to make everything in line with you know, Daniel Defense. The inside here, of course, we have a BCG from Daniel Defense. So it has the bulk carrier group from Daniel Defense, as well as, I think this is, yes, a Daniel Defense charging handle as well. On the front, you have, of course, as stated, the Daniel Defense front sight. The back sight, however, is a Magpul, and this is a newer version of the Magpul. <clears throat> it's their metal version. So I have those backup sights if need be. They flip up in the back. They align with the front sight as well. And these are Magpul. These are like their steel series. It's not like the plastic. I'm done with the plastic ones. Nothing wrong with them, but these just look so much better. We have an EOTech. I think this is the EOTech EXPS. I could be wrong, but I got this in the FDE along with the G30. I 
I want to say this is the G33 magnifier as well, because it's a G33 and the G43. The 43 is a little bit shorter, but this is the, the full-on G33, all FDE to match everything. Very, very nice. And of course, the hand guard, the, the, the grip, my bad, is a B5 system and Coyote Brown, along with the B5 system, enhanced in Coyote Brown stock. I love B5. I don't know what it is. Is it something about the angle? It's something about the grip, the Coyote look. Everything about that, like I've been replacing B5s with a lot of my ARs lately. There's something about this grip right here. I love the grain feel to it. I love the look of the Coyote Brown. It matches really well. It's better than FDE. I like Coyote Brown more than this regular FDE. The stock itself, I have this same stock on about three guns now. This gun, another gun, and the AR-10 that you will be seeing more than likely later on this week. But once again, enhanced for full effect. And this thing, is amazing. Now, I shot this gun. It was really different, man. I don't know necessarily what it is, like if it's the, what it, I don't know. I've shot in plenty of my other ARs, but there's something about this one in particular when I shot it that was extremely smooth throughout the whole entire unit, all the way to the buffer tube and how it was moving, man. I loved how this gun shot. I shot it only a little bit. And I don't even have, I don't even know if I have footage of it. If I do have footage, you'll see some footage, but we're gonna take this one actually out to the range sometime this week when we shoot our AR-10 video as well. And I'm gonna do a full on in-depth review setup and all the above. But this is definitely, um, I would say, home defense, you know, type of ordeal. We have here, of course, the Magpul Coyote Brown to go along with it, you know, just to, just to make everything match even more and more better. But this gun has been proven, you know, to do its job and do its due diligence. Yes, it's not a full on top to bottom, you know, um, Daniel Defense, but in my opinion, and hey, I'm not a gun expert, but this is where all the mechanics is going on. And with that Daniel Defense bolt carrier group, the Daniel Defense barrel and Daniel Defense rail, I'm getting just what I need to get out of this gun to make it do what it needs to do. Now I am missing out, of course, on the lower. This is a Paul Metal State Armory lower, which nothing is wrong with it. Hey, it's mil spec at the end of the day. Probably can add a better trigger in there down the road. I might even get this scraped off and throw some new cool stuff, some, some tags or something to give it that army type of look, that clone type of look down the road. But all in all, I'm very, very happy with this. This isn't my main home defense weapon, but this is a weapon capable of defending a home, defending a city, and defending a country. I mean, it's literally been, been used that way. You feel me? So salutes to Daniel Defense. Salutes to all the builds that go along with it from BCM, Daniel Defense, and Palmetto State Armory. But this is my MK18, man. And basically was able to get this thing for around, I want to say $700. That is just the gun itself. The upper was $700. The Palmetto State, I mean, well, $700 for the upper. The, the lower from Palmetto, I want to say, was maybe like, I got it on a deal for like $120. The stamp was $200 on top of that. So around a thousand dollars. I mean, this gun itself, the full MK18 is gonna run you what about two racks. So you know, not a bad look overall in the uh, collection piece. So stay tuned. This this thing is it's the real deal, holy feel. You feel me? It's the just the real deal, holy feel. But stay tuned, cause if you guys are gonna be like, man, you got Paul Mano with D. Hey, I got some Daniel Defense coming in for y'all. All right, real real soon. I got some, some big boy Daniel Defense coming in, so stay tuned for that. We got more coming in full effect. We're going to get that AR-10 video out for y'all ASAP Rocky. Hopefully, I was supposed to go today, but I got videos to shoot today, so I'll get that out to you guys tomorrow, and uh, I said tomorrow, later on this week, okay? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Here is my MK-18 Daniel Defense.